Hi, I'm Anne Lesage, and I'm here to speak to you today to invite you to take the Math for Teachers elective. Don't turn the video off. Stay with me and just listen for a minute before you decide you're too afraid to take the course because the word math is in it. But don't panic. This is the course you want to take if that's how you feel about math. If you're so afraid that you think, I can't teach the math, it's too hard, I had really bad experiences with math my whole school year, my whole school life, then take the piece of paper out and click on the Math for Teachers elective. You, what we do in the Math for Teachers elective is spend a lot of time going very slowly over just a couple of key concepts that are most difficult for teachers to, to teach. So we focus largely on rational numbers. So to jog your memory, rational numbers, there we focus on decimals and fractions. That's primarily what we do. We look at how do we represent decimals and fractions, how do we compare them, how do we order them, and we even get into some of that addition, multiplying, adding, subtracting of decimals. Yeah. You're going to see overlap in the Math Methods class and the Math for Teachers elective. We've done that purposefully, so because in the Math uh, Methods class, you're going to learn how to teach math. In the Math for Teachers elective, you're going to learn how to do math. They're two totally different concepts. If you don't have a strong understanding of how to do the math you're expected to teach, it's really hard to actually teach it. So, I'm going to show at the end of this video, you will see, um, I'll take you to my Math for Teachers website. And on the website, I'll show you some information that might help you in this decision to take this elective or not. Um, the blog has, I mean, the website has a whole variety of different materials, but I'm going to point you in a very specific direction that will show you some video clips, as well as show you some of the math test items that we would be doing in the beginning of the year. Because you'll be required to write a math test. It doesn't count, but it helps you figure out where your understanding of mathematics is. So the math test is a series of items from grade five and six math curriculum, and it's a purpose is it is to self-assess your understanding of math and then at the end of the term you'll take a similar test again and see your growth and I guarantee you will grow I've written two research papers already they're published on this this topic I'll post them on the math website you can read them take a look and then you'll find out do I take this course do I not you'll get some feedback from what students thought about the course why would they take it why would you not take it who should take it um, so I invite you please listen to the, the, the video this long that means you've got to have some sense of you that thinks, I need to be doing this course.